As many of you know, Megan has long claimed to be 43% Nigerian based on an alleged ancestor on her mother Doria Raglan's side. However, it seems Doria herself has now come forward and broken her silence on this matter, exposing some possible untruths in Megan's account. Let's get into the details. To give some background, ever since entering the royal family, Meghan has spoken openly about being mixed race and the struggles that come with having a biracial background. She seemed proud of her diverse heritage, which included being descended from slaves. Many supported Meghan for bringing more diversity and representation to the monarchy. However, over time, some have questioned the accuracy of her racial background story. The main issue seemed to focus on the supposed 43% Nigerian ancestry claim through her mother's side. While Doria is African American, the specific tie to Nigeria was brought into question by some genealogists and researchers who looked into Megan's family tree but could find no evidence backing up a direct Nigerian link going back many generations, as Megan had stated. It was a fairly substantial claim to make without documentation. Of course, back then, Doria herself had not publicly addressed this part of Megan's account of her racial heritage. As Megan's mother, many assumed Doria had simply passed this family lore on to her daughter, who then repeated it. But now, according to a recent interview, it seems Doria has broken her long silence on this matter to set the record straight. In an exclusive interview with the Sunday Times, Doria Raglan spoke out for the first time since Meghan and Prince Harry's controversial departure from the royal family last year. While she did not wish to criticize her daughter directly or speak ill of the royal family, she did take the opportunity to clarify some facts regarding Meghan's discussions of her mixed-race background over the years. The interviewer asked Doria point-blank about Meghan's repeated 43% Nigerian ancestry claim. According to the report, Doria responded, saying, that is not correct. When pressed further on the subject, Doria elaborated that while she has African-American roots through the Raglan family tree, there has been no documented connection to the country of Nigeria specifically, spanning many generations back, as Megan had stated. So, in essence, Doria has finally given a clear statement that contradicts the core of Megan's self-described mixed heritage story involving substantial Nigerian descent. As Megan's only living close relative who could verify these ancestry details, Doria's words carry weight in addressing the inaccuracy that had been suspected by some. Of course, genealogy research, especially going back many generations, can be imperfect due to lacking records in certain time periods and regions, including parts of Africa under colonial rule. So, it's possible an ancient Nigerian tie could exist but remain undiscovered. However, for Megan to state the percentage as confidently as 43%, without family confirmation, now appears to have been an overreach not grounded in documented facts, according to her own mother. Naturally, this raises some questions as to why Megan would portray her background in a way that has been directly contradicted by her mother, who is the most knowledgeable source. Only Megan herself could say for sure what led to the misrepresentation of her heritage story. But what is clear now is that, According to the testimony of the most authoritative living source, her claim of substantial documented Nigerian descent appears to have been false or exaggerated beyond the facts. So, what implications does this have now in the aftermath of Mexit? On one hand, it's just details of family history, and no one is perfect, we've all repeated something inaccurately told to us before. However, Megan had positioned her mixed heritage as central to her identity. The experience in the royal exit she and Harry engineered was partially based on allegations of racism against her in the family and press. As a prominent woman of color in the institution, if her racial self-identification and advocacy were based on untrue stories, it could potentially undermine the legitimacy of some of her grievances. At the same time, though, her experience of being biracial and facing prejudice is still real and valid, regardless of a precise percentage. It also doesn't negate any mistreatment from the royal family or press that may have also been factors in their departure decision. Of course, without any comment from Meghan herself on her mother's statements, it's difficult to say for certain how this new information lands. One would assume she now knows, through Doria, that the Nigerian claim was false. But will she own up to that publicly and explain how the record got mixed up? Or will she choose to simply avoid addressing it further and let the inaccurate version stand uncorrected in the public discussion of her background? 
Her silence so far has already led to new waves of criticism, as it adds to perceptions in some circles that she spins details selectively to control her narrative while avoiding responsibility for untrue aspects that are exposed. Transparency and accountability are what build long-term trust, so for many, this could be a chance for Megan to have an honest clarification dialogue. But maintaining mystery may also keep speculation in her favor alive. It's an undeniably messy situation with valid perspectives on both sides. Ultimately, though, Doria's interview has shown a necessary light on at least one substantially inaccurate element of how Meghan publicly portrayed her familial racial heritage journey. While the core of mixed background experiences remains real, this does arguably weaken part of the underpinning facts of that identity story as presented outwardly for many years. I'm sure this topic will continue generating ample discussion online and in the media. As always, I'd love to hear your diverse takes on this latest Megan-related revelation down in the comments below. Does Doria's statement change your perspective at all? How do you think Megan might or might not address it moving forward? We'll have to stay tuned to see if she ends up commenting directly or prefers to let the issue fade from conversation.